Hi, in this video I have the Zoom F1 field recorder and it seems to have a problem with the lavalier microphone. This is the native lavalier microphone, the one that comes with the unit and I plug it in here and even if I tighten it like that, what I'm seeing is a very high volume being inputted into the Zoom F1. And I'm just going to fiddle here and show you there seems to be something wrong. You can see that. Look at that. So what I noticed is as I was moving around recording my videos, I'd get a lot of crackling. It would be like... Wah, 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 wah. Now I'm going to hold on that side and I'm going to move the Zoom F1 around. Yeah, there we go. See, there's the problem. So it seems like it's definitely at that strain relief. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually remove this and I'm actually going to just cut this. So I'm going to have to cut it over there. Right, so I'm just going to take the insulation off over here. This is what we're dealing with. There's the earth and there's the signal wire. Right, so you are going to need a soldering iron. I've got one over here. Right, so I'm just going to put some solder over here. And there on the tip. Right, so now I'm going to work with the cable here. I'm just checking the length. We don't need the signal wire so long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strip it a bit. If you've got wire strippers, rather use wire strippers. So there we go. And now I'm just going to put some solder onto it. The signal wire has been tin. Tin just means it's got solder on it. And now what I want to do is I'm going to tin the earth wire. So having a closer look, you can see that's tinned, that's ready now. And all I need to do is solder that onto there and put that into there and solder it. First solder it before you tighten it. Now the next step is to put the cover on. So there we go. There's the cover. You must put this first, otherwise you'll have to desolder this and redo the job. So now I've got that all ready. This side has been tinned, this side has been tinned. What I want to do is just solder these on. Now what happens is... If you put this like that and tighten it, you'll find that when you're soldering it, it actually gets too hot and the heat from there eats into the plastic. Now, because this is really thin and we are working with heat, I'll take a bit of insulation tape. This is very good insulation tape. It's heat resistant up to 90 degrees. And I just wrap this around here also because I'm going to tighten the wings here around this cable so that if you pull on it it won't just break the wires so now what i'm going to do is i want to first solder the earth wire or the ground wire so i just put it like that right now there's many ways to do this i'm just going to uh, solder it here while it's in place there and then again over here Right, so it's soldered here. It's a bit too much solder here. I'm just going to remove some of this excess solder. There we go. And now what I need to do is just flap this back like that. And tighten it onto the cable. Right, so it is now tightened onto this cable. You can see that this cannot move. It is very strong now. And all I need to do now is do the signal wire. Right, so now I have the signal wire and then the uh, ground wire and now I can close it up. If you want to make it uh, even stronger, you can use heat shrink. You can use a little bit of heat shrink and then wrap it in heat shrink or you can put tape and then you just put this back on over here. You can see there's no noise there, all working and here on this side you can see that this is working fine and here unplug, plug in, yes it will do that but once it's in you can see that it is now working fine. Now in this case you can see that the connector I've used has quite a big strain relief and the cable is thin try get one that is quite snug here you might want to also use things like heat shrink 
to make it tighter here with the wire where the strain relief is. If you'd like to see how to reuse the Zoom F1 connector, I have a video explaining how to reuse it, make your own strain relief, and also how to troubleshoot the wire. Maybe there's a fault in another part of the wire. The link to that video is under the narrative in this video. Thanks for watching and cheers.